I don't know. Hey, you know, I did some fun things around Dallas. I went on the dart bus. That was a trip. Uh, dart bus. I didn't even know what it stood for. Dallas Area Rapid Transit. That's what it stood The dart bus. Guess they couldn't have that in, like, Fresno. That'd be kind of wild, wouldn't it? It'd be very inappropriate. F-A-R. Yeah, you figure it out. <laughs> hey, honey, here comes the... The bus. I can hear it. It's very clear. Sometimes it's silent, though. You gotta watch that. You can't hear it. That's deadly. It could be deadly. I uh, used to be a praise and worship leader for many different religious groups before I became a Christian. I, uh, thank you for laughing. You're so tolerant. I used to lead praise and worship at a Jehovah's Witness church one time. Sing songs like, Someone's knocking at your door. Somebody's ringing your bell. And let me in. <laughs> then I was at a Mormon church for a while. We used to sing songs like, I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. Then it got really weird. I am a ha, I am a hari, I am a hari, hari Krishna, can't you see? And I have hari, hari Krishna in my H E A R T, and when I reincarnate, I hope I don't come back as a bee. Hey! Well, you've seen that. I became a believer, and I led worship at a church of Christ. <laughs> You can laugh. Go ahead. They laugh. They love that joke. Because it's funny. <laughs> Fun stuff, though. I do a lot of comedy in churches, though. I, I go to some really cool churches and some really messed up ones. No offense. No offense. No offense. I do. See, if you're not a Christian here, I mean, that's cool. We're glad you're here. But we, yeah, no, Christians, they use language sometimes and like, like code. It's like it doesn't mean what we're saying. We have this, this phrase, servant's heart. You ever hear that phrase? Servant's heart. I hear that all the time. Tim, you got a servant's heart, dude. You have got a servant's heart. See, I hate it when somebody says I got a servant's heart. It means they want me to start stacking chairs. You know. Servant's heart means you're a pushover and a loser. That's what servant's heart means. Tim, you got a servant's heart. So's your mama. You know what I'm talking about? No. You got a servant. No. Bring it. Bring it. Go time, pal. I love the way people talk about their church. It's like a code. You know, it's another code. If you hear someone say about a place, I love it there. I love the music there. Well, that means the preaching stinks. That's bad. <laughs> yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, you know where I'm going with this. They say, I love the music. What? I love the preaching. That means the music stinks. You hear somebody say about a place, I love it there. No one judges me. And I can be who I want to be. You're at a bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you are. <laughs> Just keeping it real, folks. Keeping it real. <laughs> I don't know. At my church, the pastor always makes, me, makes us hold hands across the congregation. I can't stand that. I'm ADD because I can't think about the prayer. I'm just thinking about the person I'm holding hands with the whole time. Man, this dude's hands are huge. I think he's got an extra finger. What is that? Is that a mole or a milk dud? What is going on over here? Dude. I don't know if I'm sweating or he is. You ever pray holding hands? You say amen, do that little squeeze. Squeeze. 
amen, squeeze. What that means, let go, squeeze. That's what you should do that out loud, squeeze. Play Red Rover. Okay. Send the preacher right over. <laughs> Send him on. Oh, yes. well, so we have certain sayings in the church, you know, that are overused, I think. You know, God gave me this, and God gave me that. Now, God does give us things, absolutely, but sometimes we blame God for stuff he never did give us. <laughs> Folks, you know what I'm talking about. You ever been in church, and a lady gets up to sing a song on Sunday, she's like, God gave me this song. <laughs> he gave it to me. Then she sings the song. And you're thinking, maybe you should give it back. Maybe God didn't want you sharing that one, Buttercup. <laughs> Hide it under a bushel. Yes! That was horrible. God gave it to me. No, it didn't. Start stacking chairs. That was unbelievably bad. Mm. God did give it something real bad happened in the transition phase, if you know what I'm saying. I think the way we pray is, it, prayer, is a, prayer is a powerful thing, but I think it's when you grow up in church, it's just you hear prayers all the time in different styles and stuff, and little quirks that people have when they pray. I don't know, little phrases that I don't understand to this day. But we use the phrases, but we, we, that's just what we heard growing up. We think that's just the right thing to say when we pray. You know, like hedge of protection. You ever hear that? I hear that a lot. Hedge of protection. Damn, we are praying a hedge of protection around you, buddy. That's right, a hedge. Mm -hmm. Around you and your whole family. A hedge, huh? <laughs> 